Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Home Decor DIY. For this one, we're gonna be using air dry clay. You can use other kinds of clay. This is the one I use because I find that with this kind of like project, it's better. This is how much I'm going to be using for this project. I'm going to be working over a tiny piece of wax paper or parchment paper because it's gonna be easier for me to move these pieces around. I'm just going to roll it until I have a shape like this one, kind of like the thickness of a pen, maybe. But I'm just going to be doing that twice. But then I'm going to be taking a napkin and I'm just going to be working with the shape of this. I'm going to be making kind of like a UV sort of shape and I'm just going to be cutting the excess and all that stuff and I'm just going to be doing that for both pieces of clay. Then for the base I'm going to be taking leftover pieces of clay and I'm just going to roll this and once I roll this I'm going to be cutting this in two with my X-Acto knife and then I'm just going to push it with my roller so until I have this shape like that. Make sure it's like big enough because these are the bases so your napkin holder is not like all wonky. Somewhat stable, we want that. I'm going to be taking this barbecue sticks. Yeah, I'm just going to be cutting the pointy ends and later on I'm just going to show you a huge mistake that I made but I left it in so you can see if you go for this. Just make sure you cut this um, barbecue sticks a lot shorter actually than the napkin. If you leave them longer, as you see them right now, it's not gonna hold anything and you're gonna see what I mean in a second. And then I'm going to be making marks with my sharpie as far as where I want my sticks to be. So I'm just going to mark two per side of this ones. And so once I have done that, I'm just going to be using my uh, cocktail sticks and I'm just going to make holes on those like marks that I made before. Make sure your holes are big enough because this air dry clay tends to shrink a bit. I'm just going to be cutting my parchment paper in two because I'm going to be making sure that both my uh, shapes are like the same shape. So I'm just going to be doing the shape that I want to go for and then putting my wax paper on top of it and then adding my other shape on top of that. It's a better way for me to know that both pieces are going to dry like the same shape. And then before dry, one thing that I'm going to be doing is cutting like the edges of this because I want them to be somewhat even. And then I'm going to put the other one back where it was and I'm just going to let them dry. Once I have done that and they are dry, I'm going to be taking my hot glue gun and I'm just going to hot glue all those barbecue sticks together on those holes that I made before. And I find that using hot glue gun is the best way to glue this kind of like things because for some reason super glue doesn't work like at all. I tried it because I prefer to work with super glue because I think it lasts longer, but it doesn't really work. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to be putting this whole thing together by doing this, putting this upside down and then just gluing my other like half like on top, if that makes sense. I'm just going to be painting this with my acrylic paint and my brush and I'm just going to be covering the whole thing until it's done and dry. And this is where I made the mistake and I realized it. I wanted to see if it, this was actually going to be working and turns out it's not because those um, barbecue sticks are way longer than the actual napkin so I just uh, yeah this is a mess sorry about that but I'm going to be fixing this and I'm going to show you how just in case you go for this and you make mistakes and you want to fix them there is a way you just have to um, well break it and uh, cut it until you uh, are sure that the napkin is not going anywhere and I'm just going to be gluing the whole thing as I did before and too bad this was painted and it was all done but yeah I didn't realize that my napkin was a lot smaller than the base but as you can see it's fixable nothing happens but yeah this is pretty much the really random but useful DIY that I wanted to share with you let me know if you're liking this play DIYs that I've been doing in my channel or if you want me to focus on other types of DIYs and what kind of DIYs you'd like to see from this channel but hopefully you are enjoying them too because I'm having a lot of fun uh, making this DIYs if you have a smaller space on your kitchen you can pretty much put it wherever you need to hopefully you like this one or it was entertaining to see me fail if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more stuff don't forget to share this so more people can watch thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you on saturday and take care bye guys